We've seen derived tables. We've seen temporary tables. Now we get to see external tables. These are tables that are not stored on the Natiza database or the SPOOS. These are stored either on the host or they're stored as flat files or even on another database somewhere. That's what an external table is. We actually use external tables in Natiza to load data to Natiza. NZ load is the utility. It'll go out and say, what's the external table? Which do you want me to load it to on Natiza? And that's how they do the data loading through external tables. But the brilliance behind external tables is they're really flat files and you can actually query them or join them with regular tables. And we're going to find out about loading and querying external tables. Lewis Carroll once said, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Well, when you're dealing with external tables, you've got to know where you're going and you've got to map it like a road. You see, you've got to tell it, how are things delimited? And here we've got text delimited. This is a method commonly used for the data loading. Every value of a field or column ends with a delimiter. And each set of these values of rows or records has an end of record delimiter. Sometimes you'll call that the new line character. Well, of course, you can also have fixed length. This is a new format, which increases the kinds of data formats and layouts that can be loaded. Compressed binary. This is proprietary based on the TISA format. It actually compresses the data before a backup or a restore, and this will really help your performance. The idea is to simply compress the data before loading and uncompress that data before unloading. And then with the new release of 6.0 and higher of Natiza, we've got the decimal delimiter. This became available only fairly recently. So some of you may not have seen this. This option allows you to specify a comma as a decimal separator in addition to the default period format. Whenever you're going to do loading and you're going to use your NZ load, it's going to create two very separate files, NZ bad and NZ log. And these two files will be all you need to know if everything went perfect. You can create an external table based on any other table. And here's the syntax to do that. Create external table, table name, same as whatever table you have out there on the TISA, using external table options. And that external table is created immediately with that data. We're going to export data off of Natiza into an external table. And here you can see create external table. We give it the path name. This is going to be stored most likely on the host. That's Linux, so that's why you see the path. Using the limiter, we're using a comma in this case. And then we can select everything from our table done. This is so easy. We're going to actually take an empty table, populate it with data from our external table. That's the whole point of these for the most part. It's an insert select statement. Insert into my table name. Select everything from external and you give it the full path. And then you tell it the delimiter. Bingo. Done. Loaded. Take a look at this slide and tell me what the problem is right here. Take a close look. Take your time. Well, in the beginning we say, hey, I'm creating an external table. I give it its full path name. I say that I'm going to use a certain delimiter and the table is created when I do the select. And then I say, listen, I want to populate an empty table using an insert select on my external table. I give it a different delimiter and it goes, something isn't matching up here. You see, that's really the idea about loading data. You say, this is where the flat file is. That's where I want to load it. And here's the columns and how it's delimited. And they go, this is easy. Data is loaded. So you've got to be consistent with your delimiter. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing.
Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.